welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about all things back to school because guess what, our kids start school this week. Summer is coming to an end and it's time to get back into schedules and routines. So today we are sharing with you everything we got our kids to go back to school this year. <laughs> know that today kids get a back to school supply list. Every teacher has one. There's generally a lot of items on it, but this year I felt like our kids lists weren't too long and they weren't too complex. So this is all the school supplies we got, which looks like a lot, but when you think about five different kids and five supply lists, it's really not that much. Most of the school supplies we got, I got them from Walmart and you guys, you can't beat Walmart prices on back to school items. Box of crayons, 50 cents binder pencil pouches. I think they're only like 78 cents. Just really great prices. So just a quick rundown on the things that we did get. We needed four of these one inch binders and the teachers really like the ones where you can put a cover in front and have the three rings inside. We ended up getting a bunch of different spiral notebooks, some folders, sheet protectors for the folders, a ruler, scissors, dry erase markers, highlighters, sharpies, you guys know the drill, composition notebooks, there's only three of them here and they're all three for Carson. So Carson needed three composition notebooks this year. And then we just get into like the other basic things, pens, pencils, markers, color pencils. Dakota needed, just Dakota alone needed 24 glue sticks. So that's kind of a lot, but um, again, Walmart, you can't beat their prices there. So we have a bunch of glue sticks, a bunch of crayons, um, the pink erasers that the teachers just love, and then a pencil box for Cohen. Because you guys, this is Cohen's first year going to school. He's starting three-year-old preschool. He's so excited and he really wanted a blue pencil box to put all of his stuff in. So as far as supplies, that's everything we got. And like I said, all from Walmart. And then we move on to these, headphones. These are a thing that my kids have needed on their school supply list since our kids were in school. But this year, only three of the five need them. And we actually do end up replacing these every year because they use them every single day in class with their iPads or computers. So I actually got these off of Amazon. I think they were like $12, $14 and they had super fun colors. So I was really happy about that find for headphones. These are something that are also always on our kids' supply list and it is a water bottle. They would like them to bring a water bottle to school with them every day. This especially started when COVID hit, just so no one was using drinking fountains, but Cohen really wanted a water bottle and so did Cannon, he wanted a new one. So we were at Target and I found these and it was actually a great price because they seem like very high quality water bottles and it was $10 for a pack of two. So pretty good deal. Something that we usually buy our kids every single year for back to school is a new backpack. They have bought a new backpack for school every year this far in their life. And they kind of reminded me the other day, they're like, mom, we haven't got new backpacks, but guess what you guys? <laughs> we, they got brand new backpacks and it was like halfway through the year last year, they got new backpacks when we went to um, San Diego for our spring break. And they are all, all in like killer shape still. I just washed all these the other day, hung them up to dry. They are still in perfect condition. So I said, you know what? We're not buying new backpacks this year. We are just using the ones that we've had because they're still in perfect condition. And there's not any reason to get new ones if the ones you have are in perfect condition. So we are using last year's backpacks and I'm actually really happy about it because if you guys have looked at prices on those, that alone probably saved us at least $150. Okay, then we move on to the clothes and shoes portion. We live in a place that we get very wet, snowy winters. So I know that our kids will most likely need some new snow boots because kids grow so fast that you generally need those at the beginning of every winter every year. So we don't buy anything like that for back to school. Each of the kids get like one new pairs of shoes for school generally. As you can see, I have Dakota got Vans this year, Carson got Nikes, and Candy got some Under Armour tennis shoes. McKinley also got some Nike. She wore them in the parade that she just performed in though. So I'm washing those so that they look brand new for school. Those are usually the only shoes that they get, but we had a family friend give these to Carson, these vans that her son just never wore before they were too small. They've never been worn. They're perfect brand new vans. So he's lucky, he's getting two pairs of shoes. And then I also found these little sparkly shoes for Kinley at Walmart. They were $10 and I just thought they were so cute. She can slip them on and off herself. 
So sometimes they will get more than one pair of shoes, but we try to keep it as even as rare as we can. And I also got these for Cohen. So those are the shoes they got. Then something that they always desperately need when the new school year starts is socks. I know I mentioned in our back to school shopping video that we usually get socks at TJ Maxx, but I feel like we were a little late to the game this year because the socks were just wiped clean. The only person I got socks for this year at TJ Maxx was Canyon. Everyone else's came from Walmart. Walmart has the best prices. So I got McKinley, Cohen, and Dakota and Carson, the two older boys, their socks at Walmart this year. Dakota and Carson are funny. They love crew socks. They want socks that go halfway up their calf, and we could, just couldn't find any at TJ Maxx this year. So they got these. They're all sorts of different fun colors. They're excited about those. I feel like that's a necessary item to get brand new every year. And then you guys, as far as clothing goes, we are going to do our back to school fashion show, so I'm not showing you every piece of clothing here. Something that we try to do with the kids is we try to get them at least a couple pairs of new pants, whether that's new jeans, more like nicer pants, like khaki pants, joggers. You guys know I was so excited about these joggers we found again at Walmart this year because they're the coolest material. They're like lightweight athletic material and they look a little nicer than just sweatpants. So we try to get all of the kids at least a couple pairs of pants. I'm a little nervous about Cohen's though. Cohen is three and a half. He'll be four in January. So I was like, well, I'm gonna buy him fours because I always try to buy the kids a little bit bigger so they can wear it for a while. These are giant enormous. <laughs> I tried to put them on him. These probably will not fit him until his fourth birthday. So he's very lucky to have a cousin, Leo, right above him that passes down clothes because those are much too big. But sometimes it's just trial and error because some of the things I buy are online and we don't try them on before we buy them. I was going to tell you guys my favorite place to shop for the kids online, the Children's Place and Carter's. They have the most insane deals, all of that I do online but they will have like 70% off the entire website and store. Then you can get additional money off with different like loyalty points. So if you're, if it's somewhere that you shop a lot, they get your phone number, right? And then you type in your phone number each time and you add up points. You guys, I cannot tell you how inexpensive I buy clothes from the Children's Place and Carter's. Um, Dakota and Carson, I feel like are getting a little too big and outgrown for those places. So TJ Maxx, generally for them, Old Navy, they love to get hoodies and stuff like that at Old Navy. And then Target, they love to get all of their graphic t-shirts and more casual shirts at Target. McKinley this year, I found a lot of her clothes at Walmart actually, and they're so, so cute, so simple. And then TJ Maxx for her outfits as well. And you guys, <laughs> look how cute these are. These are just more like little dressy outfits, but then she does have just jeans and t-shirts as well. So as far as like a couple pairs of pants and socks and shoes for the kids, we try to get them at least five new tops per kid, whether that's just a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a hooded t-shirt, whatever, and then a jacket or a hoodie per kid. Because you guys, these kids grow like weeds and even though I have a closet full of jackets and hoodies, they start to get a little short on the arms, a little short on the torso. So it really, we do not buy them entire new wardrobes, but we do try to give them some options of newer things that just excites them and gets them ready for the new school year. Cody and I were just joking that we wish as adults that we got like a new <laughs> set of clothes and school supplies and everything every year because you know what? Sometimes you can really use that, especially when you go on a lot of adventures and you're rough on your clothes. Um, so, a little bit jealous of the kids. They got some fun stuff here, but you guys, mostly what I wanted to share in this video is that sometimes those back to school lists can be completely overwhelming, and I get that. Sometimes I look at everything that I need to purchase and I'm just like, there's no way. We can't do this. However, if you start looking a little bit earlier in the summer, around the end of June, beginning of July, you can start to just snag things here and there, and that's what I try to do so that it isn't just one big lump sum of money coming out of our account all at once. I try to do things here and there throughout the summer, grab items when I see them on sale that I know that are gonna be on their list and that they'll need. And you guys, you truly can find some incredible deals and in hidden gems. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. Hopefully it gave you some helpful tips for sending your kids back to school. And if you are going back to school, we hope that you have an incredible new year. We love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, guys. Oh, I need to take a breath.